Hey everyone! As we gear up for 2024, I've got some exciting news to share. I've been exploring various meal kits, and today we're looking at Factor 75. I snagged several food boxes during Black Friday and Cyber Monday to get the best deals. Because you know, I pay for these with my own money. This video will cover everything from unboxing and reviewing each item to a comprehensive taste test. I'll also dive into Factor 75's history, their ingredients, quality, and the ease of meal preparation. I'm here to give you my genuine opinion to help you make the best choice for you and your family. If you're wondering whether Factor 75 is right for you, you're in the right place. And remember, I have many more reviews lined up. So consider subscribing to stay updated on honest reviews that could save you both time and money. Market research and demographics. I chose Factor 75 based on some market research I conducted. I reached out on Reddit and various blogs to ask about the preferred meal kits. Factor and fuel meals came up frequently, especially among the people on a weight loss journey and bodybuilders. Interesting enough, about 80% of the feedback was from men and 20% was from women, which really kind of surprised me. Factor's commitment to quality. Factor prioritizes quality. They use organic ingredients among no GMO, hormones, preservatives, or refined sugars. Currently, they offer farmed Atlantic salmon, but I'm hopeful a switch to wild salmon is coming soon. Their meat is grass-fed and humanely raised, as is their chicken. For those who have watched my previous videos, you know I strongly support and appreciate these practices. Factor also caters to various diets like keto, protein plus, vegan, veggie, and calorie smart, making it a very versatile choice for many. Unboxing and reviewing each item. Without further ado, let's get into this box and see what we got. I purchased this box, I think on Saturday or Sunday. Today's Tuesday. So it got here pretty quick. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited for these meals. They look so good on the internet. I watched some reviews beforehand, just like you're doing right now. And I also got a really good deal, so I had to give them a shot. I'd say if any company is gonna give you even the smallest of deal, take it, try it, and if you hate it, you can just cancel your subscription at any moment. Like, I could open up this box right now, go back upstairs to hit the computer, and go, Nope, I wasn't a fan. Cancel my membership. I am currently signed up for their subscription plan and I'm planning on getting one box a week. I've already skipped next week because I have so many meals coming from other companies and I just don't have the fridge space. Nor can I eat food that quickly. Having vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. If you don't know what that is, I had weight loss surgery. On the box it says Factor. It doesn't say 75. 75 was their old name. Open for chef crafted, dietitian approved meals. Just heat up, eat, and get back to your goals. And then on this side, it says food with a serious feel good factor. All right, number one, no prep necessary. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat in as little as two minutes. Two, fresh meals. Simple and real ingredients make for nonsense-free meals packed with nutrition and flavor. Three, box to unbox. We're getting more recyclable every day. See our website for our instructions. Number four, a carbon neutral company. Carbon emissions, not cool. That's why we offset ours 100%. All right, what do we got here? Feels quite hard. We have some type of cardboard cooler with a shiny outside. Kind of looks like tin foil, but isn't tin foil. I'm guessing that's to keep the cool in. Next, we have something that says Recycle Me. Clean and dry. This looks like an ice pack, so it didn't have dry ice. I saw in one of the reviews that someone got dry ice, but 
don't know if you can hear that, but that is hard as a rock. So that's a good sign. We still have ice. All right, inside, inside here, we have the Factor Meals. And on the very bottom, I do see another package of ice. Squished between two things of ice, that is really good to see, considering I've had food boxes come with just one, and everything on the opposite side was warm. So, I'm hoping I don't get that here. Plus, this cooler, it looks really eco-friendly, so I'm really excited and happy about that. So, let's pull out the first meal. Fresh, never frozen meals. Chef prepared, dietitian approved, no prep, no mess. Yes, I like that. Heat and eat in two minutes. America's number one ready to heat meal kit. Factor. As you can see, this is a sleeve, all right? So packaging is super simple. We have roasted garlic butter salmon. Oh, I love salmon, but keep in mind, this is farm-raised salmon, it's not wild. So that is something I wish they would improve upon, but every once in a while, farm-raised salmon isn't the worst. I mean, I should just make a video about farm-raised salmon and why I call it gray salmon. So roasted garlic salmon with celery-rooted cauliflower mash and Parmesan broccoli. Yum! I don't know if you can see it, Preparation instructions. Heating times may vary. Reheat contents to 155 Fahrenheit. Nutrition facts, one tray. All right, that's considered one serving. It's 540 calories, 40 grams of fat, 16 grams of saturated fat, 0.5 grams of trans fat. There's a lot of fat in this. This is salmon, so it is a little fatty and it's also farm raised. Total carbohydrates is 12 grams, five grams of dietary fiber, three grams of sugar, and 34 grams of protein. Mm, 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 mm. Protein! We have the meat, we have the vegetables, and they are separate. For those of you out there that can't have those two worlds mixed together, everything is separated. Can't say that's gonna be true for the next one. Boom, uh-oh. I can smell something very strong. We have herb crusted chicken with mashed cauliflower and toasted almond beans. Nutrition facts, 700 calories for one package. Whew. 54 grams of total fat, 20 grams of saturated fat, one whole gram of saturated, one gram of trans fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates, six grams of fiber, five grams of sugar, and 40 grams of protein. Protein dance. But there's a problem with this one. I saw it, I don't know if you did. The two worlds are separate again. The plastic on top looks good. But, can you see this? This is cracked open. I can smell the green beans. That is not cool. I've had cracked packages in the past and customer service is usually really good about it. Either they give you a refund on your account or they send you a new box. I'm interested to see what they're gonna do. It might not be either. They could just ignore me completely, but it does smell really, really good. So I'm hoping there's nothing else in here that's broken. And I'm gonna investigate everything. We have another meal kit here. Separated, we got a three-way separation going on. Honey mustard chicken with roasted rosemary potatoes and garlic green beans. One tray is 540 calories, 29 grams of total fat, four grams of saturated fat, and no trans fat. Woohoo! first one. 33 grams of carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, and 10 grams of sugar. Includes four grams added sugars. Hmm, interesting. I'm guessing the honey mustard. For protein, 35 grams. Check it out. Next item. Looks good. Oh, oh, Sloppy Joe Mac. 
with cheddar cheese and roasted zucchini and yellow squash. I think mac means mac and cheese, I'm hoping. Because I see white cheddar cheese. Yeah. Wow. I was expecting this to be really high in calories. One tray, 420 calories. One of these over here was 700, and it was pretty much meat and vegetables. 21 grams of total fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, 0.5 trans fat, 36 grams of carbohydrates, 15 grams of total sugar, 4 grams of dietary fiber, and 23 grams of protein. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, that looks really good. The portion size doesn't look very big though. Vegetables look good. I can't smell anything. All I smell is those green beans that were broken. Next. Whoop. This one's a little different. It has a different packaging than the others do. Cavatappi, an Italian style pork ragu with garlic broccoli. I probably butchered that name, but whatever. Once again, the calories are low. So I'm just gonna assume that the portion size is small. It does have some weight to it though. For one tray is 520 calories, 30 grams of total fat, eight grams of saturated fat, 0.5 grams of trans fat, 42 grams of carbohydrates. Total sugar, we have nine grams, eight grams of fiber and 23 grams of protein. So this is on the lower spectrum of the protein. But let's see, the noodles don't look like the pasta I buy in the grocery store, but I'm not gonna lie, it does look good. Everything so far has felt cold to the touch. Nothing's frozen. It wasn't delivered frozen. So this is all food I'm gonna literally have to eat within the week. If I focus on breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I can probably get through these pretty quick. But keep in mind, I had the weight loss surgery. So I'm probably only gonna be able to eat half of each one of these meals. So I got three, six meals. That's really 12 meals. The last and final meal, chicken pot pie pasta with cauliflower and broccoli. One tray is 570 calories, 22 grams of total fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, and zero grams of trans fat. 38 grams of total carbohydrates, seven grams of dietary fiber, and seven grams of sugar. And we have 35 grams of protein. Oof, that's a lot of protein. Like I said, this looked pretty good. Tasty. And the last one was another ice pack. I've got meals like herb crusted chicken, an Italian style pork ragu, and so many more. I'll be tasting each one of these and sharing my thoughts on the flavors. Preparing the meals. Preparing these is a breeze. Just remove from the box and make holes in the film for microwaving or take off the film for oven cooking. I'll be using my Tavala oven, which is fantastic for those on the go. It's a smart oven that fits perfectly into my tech lover's lifestyle. Check out my detailed review on my channel or on my upcoming website launching in 2024. Taste test and honest review. Now let's get into the taste test. I've got chicken, pork, and salmon, and so much more. I'll be giving you my unfiltered feedback on each dish. So I've decided I'm gonna try the Factor Sloppy Joe Mac and Cheese. So let's go upstairs, prepare this meal, and get ready to eat it. Got my food ready. Look at the steam coming off. And it almost went all over my table. Let's get into the best part of this review, the taste testing. So right here, I have the Sloppy Joe mac and cheese with roasted zucchini and yellow squash. There's a lot of meat and not a whole lot of pasta, which I like. And there's a lot of vegetables. The vegetables don't have a lot of smell to them, but the meat 
with the sauce and the spaghetti. Ah, it smells wonderful. It smells like it was cooked in a restaurant, to be honest. This is like restaurant quality looking. Bon Appetit. That was good. Let me do another one. That was really good. So the meat is really moist. It doesn't feel dried out at all. And I baked this, by the way. I did put it in the microwave quickly to kind of show you what to do, but I put it in my Tavala and it came out amazing. The pasta noodles are super good. They're not hard, they're not chewy. They're melt in the mouth good. You know when you like maybe cook pasta for an extra minute longer than you're supposed to? That's what this is. And I like that because I feel like it's gonna help digestion a bit more. My body has to do less work to try to break down that pasta. Because our bodies weren't meant to break down pasta. Meant to break down meat. Let's try the vegetables. I love zucchini and I love summer squash. It's good. What I was gonna say, there's not a whole lot of flavor. At least on my tongue there isn't. There's a little bit of maybe like pepper with this could have used, maybe a little butter or something. But yeah, I'm not gonna complain. This was only 420 calories. If you made me eat this every single day for the next three, four days, kind of like what I'm doing right now with my turkey dinner that turned into turkey soup, I would be happy to eat this. The sauce, it has a flavor to it. It's got a very mild hint of spice to it. This whole dish here just dissolves in my mouth. 23 grams of protein. All right, so I've eaten pretty much all of my pasta. There's a little bit left. I tried to eat the meat over the pasta because that is where I'm gonna get the protein. Really good. Now I'm just trying to work on my vegetables. Having the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, ideally, I should just put the fork down and be done. I did eat that a bit fast, which also is not the best thing, but the food was just so good. So that is my problem. I have a binge eating issue. Um, we found that out over the course of the year. So yeah, I'm working on eating slower, but that was really good. I would get this one again. I strongly recommend Factor Sloppy Joe Mac with cheddar cheese, roasted zucchini, and yellow squash. If it's on your menu, it's worth checking out. All right, we have another meal to test. Check this one out. We have the honey mustard chicken. Looks really good. Let's crack into here. So the color looks okay. There's a little bit of pinkness to it, but I would hope it's completely done. This is chicken, so you kind of have to cook it right. So let's try the protein first, because that's what I like to eat first. Hmm. Tastes like chicken. But the honey mustard on top is actually a really good touch. This little pocket over here, is where the honey mustard was. I had to take it out and pour it on top. So it hasn't been saturated in honey mustard. This is good. The chicken is really moist. It's not dried out. Mm. There's a little spice kick going on, but it's not bad. Let's try the green beans that are underneath the chicken. Mm -hmm. They taste like green beans. To be honest, the honey mustard is totally overpowering the flavor of the green beans. The green beans do have a good crunch to them. They're a little softer than I like, but they're still good. They're green beans. And then the last item here, we have roasted rosemary potatoes. So they're chopped up small. Mm. 
there is a strong rosemary flavor. I'll have to be honest, I don't think I've ever put rosemary on potatoes before, but that is innovative and it tastes really good. The potatoes appear to be baked, not fried. So that's really good. Considering this whole meal here is gonna be about 540 calories. I'm thrilled, 35 grams of protein in this one sitting, mainly inside the chicken. I can't complain. So yes, I would recommend this meal. If you like green beans to be a little more crunchy, not so much. The potatoes are potatoes. I'm not a big potato guy. They're a little dry for me, but I'm usually eating mashed potatoes. The chicken is moist, tender, tastes amazing. All right, I couldn't ask for anything better. I was really afraid by getting chicken breast that it was gonna be dried out because whenever I cook it, it's dried out and I just hate it. I prefer eating chicken thighs because they're moist all the time. So that's it. We'll check back tomorrow for another video and we'll see what I have for dinner. We have another meal to eat. This is the cava tapi, an Italian pork ragu, or just Italian style pork ragu with garlic broccoli. Total meal is 520 calories, 23 grams of protein. The other pasta meal I had was really good. So I can only imagine that this one is going to taste just as good. All right, what do we try first? I'm gonna go with the broccoli first because I love garlic and I love broccoli. Ready? Bon appetit. So the broccoli has a little bit of crunch to it, which I really, really like. It's real, it's not lab grown. I don't really taste any garlic on the broccoli though. If garlic is there, it's very, very subtle. It just tastes like broccoli. It doesn't taste like garlic at all. So I'm a little disappointed there. But if you like broccoli, it tastes like broccoli and it's really good. And it's like super green. Oh, nope. That time I tasted a little bit of sauce. So I'm guessing there's a sauce and it's at the bottom and I just need to mix this up more. Let's try it again. So there is a little bit of flavor. I can't really make out what it is. It doesn't taste like garlic to me at least, but is it good? Yeah, it's good. All right, let's try the pasta. The noodles, they look like the ones from the other night. Let's see if they're overly cooked like the other ones. Mmm, very soft. And that sauce has a little bit of kick to it. Let me get some meat on here this time. This one doesn't look like it has a lot of meat compared to the other night, but there's a lot more noodles and there's a lot of broccoli. Mm -hmm. Like the previous pasta meal I had, the pork, it's really grinded, really thin. There's no big chunks of pork in here. So I would have liked that. It's almost like sawdust and sauce. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but it's good. It's good. It's gonna be less work for my body to digest, but that means I could be hungrier faster. So if you're using this to lose some weight, 520 calories, add three of those, you're under 2000 calories still, which is really good. Pasta, it's gonna burn off really quickly. The meat, you kinda want big and chunky to have substance. So that way it takes longer to burn. If you know anything about weight loss, essentially you need to have carbs with your meals if you wanna lose weight. So the carbs burn up first, and then by having big chunks of protein, those are the big logs on the fire. Those are the ones that burn for a long extended period of time. So that's one way to look at it. That's why I want big pieces of protein. I want real protein. So that way I have sustainability and I'm not hungry in an hour and end up going for a bag of chips when maybe I'll just open another one of these meals. Because the one I had yesterday, the chicken, that was really good. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Not much more to say about that. Other than it's really good. Would I recommend you buy this particular meal? Yes, I would. If you love pasta and you love a little bit of meat sauce on there, but are all not used to getting vegetables on the side. So with that said, yes, I would recommend this. Star rating, probably give it about four stars. There's a lot of flavor to it, but I just feel like there could be more flavor and really get me going, wow. This seems more like something I would cook at home and that's okay. The previous one, it was like restaurant quality. It was just like the flavors were just bursting and I was actually really excited to eat it. The chicken was the same with the Dijon uh, mustard that was on top. Gave a nice little kick. Here, it tastes like your normal pasta sauce. So if you're scared about trying something new, I think this right here is a safe option. Hmm. Leave me a comment down below if you ordered and which meals you picked. Maybe I'll just have to pick out those same meals in a different box and tell you what I think and see if our taste buds are the same. It's hard to say because everybody's taste buds are just a little bit different. All right, do I have a treat for you? Tonight, I cooked up two meals. One for me, one for my son. Can't promise that he's gonna eat it, but we'll find out. So let's dive into them. The first one, we have a chicken pot pie pasta. And on this one, we have the roasted garlic butter salmon. They're already cooked. I'm gonna try the pot pie first because I'm probably gonna end up eating the salmon. It's not something that reheats very nicely. I'm gonna try the vegetables first. Looking pretty green. Mmm, how good. It has a nice crunch to it, just like the previous meals did. The flavor on them, I can't really taste it very strongly, but there is some type of seasoning on top. Onto the main course. Make sure I get some chicken in here with some of the vegetables. Doesn't that look good? That looks really good. <laughs> that is a flavor explosion in my mouth. That is really good, like incredibly good. The chicken's very tender, the pasta's perfect, and the vegetables just kind of add a little different flavor and some texture to it. Oh, let's try that again. Mm. Mm. Boom! This is my son. Here, try it. No, you don't like it? Here, you wanna try some broccoli? Likes the broccoli, but not the pasta. Hmm. Do you wanna try a little bit of chicken? Do you like the chicken? So you approve. I'm gonna say yes to this one. This is really, really good. On to the next one. You know what that is? I want this one. I don't want that. <laughs> All right, ready? Bon appetit on the broccoli. Mmm. <coughs> well, that's good. That is really good broccoli. The seasoning on them is on par. I'm guessing it's like the butter seasoning that might be mm. on the salmon. My only gripe here is the broccoli seems to be really soft. It's not crunchy. Mm -mm. So it might be just overcooked a little bit. Next here, we got the salmon. Ooh, look at that hue. Uh -huh. All right, ready? Now dad's gonna try the salmon. Mm. Mm. I want some That is really good. I want some You're gonna take my salmon? Mm. It was perfectly cooked, and it's got a nice butter seasoning on there. I would recommend this salmon. The only thing that I could say about the salmon is I wish it was wild salmon, but every once in a while, it's okay. You don't hear people getting sick, but you never know. My son seems to like the salmon, so I'm going to guess he's going to take the salmon tonight. Well, that's it for today. I'd recommend both of these meals. So if you're in the market, check it out. Maybe even your kids will like it. That's it for right now, until tomorrow's meal. All right, we got the final meal in the series. 
We have a herb crusted chicken. And it's supposed to have mashed cauliflower with toasted almond green beans. But this is the one with the broken container. Because the foil was covering here, I feel safe that the chicken's gonna be okay to eat. I toss the green beans because I don't wanna get sick. So let's get into here and see how this tastes. Right off the bat, looks like there's like stuffing on top. And I'm not sure if that is the butter or herb crust. I don't know. Here we go, bon appetit. Got a little bit of sauce on there. And I got the herbs. Mmm. Chicken's nice and moist. Not bad. This one, I'm gonna rate it maybe three stars out of five because I didn't get to try the green beans. And when I was pulling the green beans out, they smelled amazing. So I'm really disappointed in that. Chicken is well cooked. It's a little dry on the inner sides. On the outsides, it was nice and moist. There's like this white substance in here. No idea what it is, but it tastes good. And that's all that matters, as well as it being somewhat healthy. This tray though was 700 calories. So much more than all the others, but didn't have the green beans, so it's probably a lot less. But then again, green beans isn't that much. So that's it for this review company in history. Factor 75 was founded by a personal chef making experiences, making it accessible beyond professional athletes and the wealthy. Their mission is to help people eat and live better, focusing on organic and ethically sourced ingredients. Pricing. The meals range from $10.99 to $15 each, depending on the quality. I opted for the six meal plan. There's also a $11 shipping fee. The pricing feels reasonable, considering the time it saved me from shopping and cooking. It's a good balance between home cooking and convenience. Customer service. I haven't had any issues yet, other than this one right here, but I've heard that Factor's customer service is responsive and helpful. I'll definitely reach out if any problems arise. Personal recommendation and feedback. My experience with Factor 75 has been about convenience, taste, and quality. It's ideal for those seeking healthy meals without the hassle of cooking. This service has given me more time for content creation and relaxation. My only critique, I would love to see wild salmon on their menu. Overall, I give Factor a solid four stars. And hey, if you're not big into subscribing on YouTube, but still wanna stay up to date, consider subscribing to my email newsletter. You'll get a monthly update with all the latest content, special insights, and maybe even some exclusive offers. It's a great way to stay connected and informed. Just check out the link in my description down below if you're interested. My conclusion, to sum up, Factor has truly impressed me with their quality and variety. I wanna emphasize something important here. Yes, Factor is a bit pricier compared to other meal kits, but consider this. It's not just about the food. It's about the luxury of convenience and quality. Imagine the hours you'd normally spend planning, shopping, and cooking. With Factor, you reclaim that time. It's a luxury experience in every sense. Your time is incredibly valuable and if you're someone who values convenience paired with quality, this could be a worthwhile investment for your lifestyle. If you're interested in giving them a try, there's a discount link in my description. It's a great opportunity to save some money on your very first box. Remember, you can cancel or skip orders anytime, so it's worth giving it a shot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This is a video you should watch next. I'm not lying. Check it out. Mm -hmm. That's it for today. See ya. Tim out.